Hi guys, welcome back to the Big Band Theory. I'm Taylor J. Williams and I'm here with Matt Sloan at the Review Band. Hey guys, how's it going? What do you do? Well, I am the lead singer and rhythm guitar player in a band called Rivia. Um, we are like an alt rock band coming out of Liverpool. Just make songs about having fun and loving life or lack thereof. <laughs> Stuff like that. So you're a band. You have, how long have you been around for? We've been around for about three years now. I mean, we yeah, couldn't do nothing in the pandemic, like so. It's so a big, big gap, but yeah, it's been a uh, started in like 2018. Got all uh, all the all the members together, and uh, yeah, 2018 we just gigged and went on tour straight away. Kind of just wanted to pull out music as soon as we could. Where and did you tour? Around the UK. We did Where like did seven dates. Uh, started and ended in Liverpool. I did like. Um, like a solo show in Sound Basement, which was really cool. Uh, we did like Glasgow, Sheffield, Leeds. Uh, did London. We did played in Camden. That was cool. Um, it was a long drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where else did we? Manchester. That was cool. I had our first mosh pit in Manchester. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So, what type of songs? Like, where does your writing? come from where what, what genre or how do you just write what's the, oh, what's I, the process I listen to like all sorts of music so it's like I'll go from like disco to slip you know what I mean? <laughs> so like it's it comes from everywhere. like I love I just love if it's cool it's cool you know what I, mean? yeah. I just like good music um, my writing comes from like something either that's like happens or like a situation I like kind of writing about like a situation or like a, a series of like events or like a hypothetical kind of thing yeah. so like we have this tune called Saul Good and it's about like you know when people get drunk and they like kind of change it's like how all people's like drunk alter egos <laughs> and that so yeah just like it comes from can come from anywhere really it's like and it doesn't really necessarily start with like music it can start with like lyrics or like a melody yeah and just build from it and just kind of like imagine it's like a big slab of marble, like the tunes in there, like mm. the sculptures in yeah. there. You just gotta go find it, kind yeah, of thing. You just gotta you know? try and like fucking dig in that yeah. bag, just like explore it and and kind of go like I like to give songs like titles, yeah, and like go like okay, what's it about, kind of thing. Like so what are you, what am I trying to say? Yeah, so you'd always start with the title yourself. Not necessarily, no. Like I, 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 I like to, I try to, but like if it's not happening, it's not happening. I'll just, I'll just write, you know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like I like to give it a title. I kind of like helps me keep on track and stuff. Uh, just writing about crazy stuff, like. So when you gig as a band, is it always this a set of originals, or do you just yeah incorporate covers or anything like nah. that? No, no like I I, I want to do like some cool covers for like maybe like cool videos and things like that, and like maybe down the line somewhere yeah. we'll throw like a Kiss tune in or like yeah. a Free Fighters tune for like for the fun. But uh, now we have like loads of original music so we kind of want to show that and and play that for people and get yes. people's feedback and see if they like it or so you'd only do covers for like youtube videos yeah for fun isn't it yeah it's yeah. like I, I i would love to do more of that stuff because like I, I i i play a lot of covers anyway but um yeah i reckon down the line we'll probably try and do some more of that but i just think it's so much fun and like it's yeah, a nice change from from writing original stuff yeah. it's just like it's how, like having a jam almost you know yeah well like, i i watched the one you did of ghostbusters yeah. <laughs> that looked like a lot of fun yeah, well we shot the whole thing in a day we did it all in a day we were like sat there it was like the day before halloween and we were like we got not of halloween i want to do something for halloween because we all quite like it and stuff like that and i used to go what about if we just like dress up as like the teenage ninja turtles and all this stupid <laughs> shit you know really like ghostbusters and then i was like ah oh. I could sing Ghostbusters, you know, <laughs> like, can you play Ghostbusters, Warren? Warren was like, yeah, I can play that. Yeah. We go. And then we were like, Chris, can you, like, Chris was in his, and he was like, could you play the drums for Ghostbusters? <laughs> and I was like, around the bass, and he was like, yeah, man, sent it over, like, two hours later, and then me, Warren, and Peter were all in our practice room, and we were like, can we just do, like, a demo of this? Film it. I've got like a sheet there. I'll just pretend to be a ghost. <laughs> It'll just be that funny. And that. they were like, yeah, go ahead. And so we just we just shot it all in a day. You like demoed it and just like put it out for a little fun Halloween vibes. Yeah. Well, it, it it did look like a fun Halloween vibe. It, did, <laughs> it like, was so it, stupid. It, 
It, it was it like, but it was it was just one of them things where you watch it and you ju- it just it just makes you laugh. Like, yeah, that's everything's like... well recorded, but, <laughs> but like the actual visual of it and the way you did, even when you're singing, your little laugh after like yeah, well, that's the thing we were like because we were trying to make the Ghostbusters sound good. You know, like going like Ghostbusters, it's like it just didn't sound good. It didn't sound right. So I was like, should I just say it? Should I just say Ghostbusters? Like everyone knows who you got to call. You know what I mean? Mm. And they were just like. Hey, I was supposed to say this, or I was just like, yeah, okay, I'll just say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, that's like, it, it kind of like, it's what we're about kind of thing. Like, we just like, we love, just, we, en- we enjoy what we do, you know, we, we just have a laugh get doing it and have a giggle doing it. And like, that kind of reflects that well. Yeah. That's like what we're like, we're yeah. like, you know what I mean? We just have a giggle at that. We're all <laughs> stupid and that. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, okay, let's get some work done, you know what I mean? Let's actually, like, do some cool shit. But, um, yeah, no. Fun times. So, it, when was the last time you? Because you said you did, you wanted to do more covers and more videos. When was the last? Was that the last one you did? Or yeah, pretty much. Like was we've it? just been working on originals and like we had like because we've had like a no, loads of new material that we wrote over lockdown and we were trying to like incorporate that into like the live set and like make sure it like gel well. Like we're trying to figure out like what tunes we're gonna actually use and what tunes we're not gonna use and. Then just like putting that into the set, and then like we like to have the set flow, yeah, between tune to tune, and that like we're really working on our transitions and things. Um, so yeah, we've just just been working on that really, to be honest. Nice, nice, but, nice. But yeah. Well, you, the last song you guys released was Amsterdam. Yeah. So what was the process behind that? Of what? like writing it or like recording it and stuff. Oh, bit of both, bit of both. Because I watched your music video, and that looks yeah. when that gets put out, it that's gonna look. Really well. I'm excited. I, 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 I was there for most, well, a lot of the recording yeah. turns up late, like, but <laughs> uh, it, it looked, even the settings of it, the way you were doing Thanks, it, man. it was just, it was weird to see you without a guitar. Yeah, in it. It's weird to be without me guitar. It's it like, was. It's like being naked. <laughs> it it's like you feel all like, exposed and that. Yeah, as soon, as soon as you were finished, you just ran and was just as it felt like you were just running into the room to hug your guitar. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I'm scared. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I like shout out to Chase and Blake for, uh, for filming that. Like, it was good. Good vibes. Yeah. Good day. It was a long day, but it was a good day. Man. Um, yeah, we did like shot loads of different locations and that. And then, well, I didn't even know I was coming, uh, was it? That was finished work. was open to just go to bed and then yeah, in. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're shooting your music uh, video till about one o'clock in the morning and I gotta get those shots man got gotta, get, gotta get those shots got roped into holding lights yeah it was a, it was a weird way like Amsterdam came about as a tune because I kind of wrote it by accident like I had a mate who was like doing like bar training over in Amsterdam at the time she was like just staying out there and stuff and I was like I'm not having a good time at home and stuff so it was just like oh I wish I could like just get it get away from more like just get out of the pool for a minute yeah. and just to just have a little have a little break in that I was saying oh it would be sick if I could go see here in Amsterdam so I was like I kind of just was jamming on my guitar and it just came out and I was like please we need to make this into a proper tune and they were like yeah yeah and Warren put that guitar solo in it and it's just like yeah <laughs> Does sound well. It sounds well listening to it on streaming platforms and live. Yeah. I was there at the headline. Oh no! Oh, go buy it. <laughs> yeah, plug it, on. plug it. Where is it? Where is it? Where can you find it? Everywhere, hidden and everywhere. <laughs> go get it. Oh uh, well, you said that you don't really perform covers as a band live, yeah. but you do. Uh, you've done some on YouTube, but I know you do solo work as well. Yeah. What's the difference between? Playing with a band and playing on your own, like everything, like like everything, like it's so I I, I like playing on my own because it's quite free. You don't have to worry about staying in time. Or like, yeah, yeah, you don't you know, have to stay in time. Play your part right and stuff. Yeah. You can just you can. There's more room to just like mess about if you will, and it's a little bit more free form, and you can like improvise easier because you got to yeah. stay in the pocket and stuff like that. Um, but it's it, it's night and day. Like, I if I could, I would play with the band every day. Yeah, like every single day. Well, I it, well try and do that more because I hate seeing you on your own. <laughs> because every time I seem to leave and like go, oh, should we go for a quiet little drink, just one on our own? I seem to be out. 
<laughs> and stay out. And you just, it, it, you bring that feeling of just, oh, I don't really want to get drunk, but we'll go for one, eh? Yeah, but then we, you sort of turn up and then for some reason we le- we've we left at like nine o'clock hoping to get in for about half ten and next thing you know I look at my phone that I can barely see because it's blurry <laughs> and it's half one in the morning and you're just like you off to all the fame with us lads and it's like no lads I was meant to be home three and a half hours ago this is what I do it, it, this is what I do you bring that even when you were performing with your band your headline launch and i was b- planning on just getting <laughs> off afterwards and i wasn't getting drunk because I, I i was having to do things there i was working so i was just like oh no i won't and then next thing i know we're having shots and then <laughs> i'm i'm meant to be working but i'm in the middle of the crowd and yeah <laughs> See I, that. I, that, that's a bone i've got to pick with you actually Uh-oh. your headline I'm launch i i was promised a t-shirt Oh yeah, oh, um, I get one to you. We've got some in the studio. I get one to you. I, I was promised a t-shirt. I still haven't. Got we apologise for the delay. <laughs> <laughs> Shipping delay. Yeah. It's like the containers, bro. It's something it's to do with the containers, bro. Just COVID stall and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get you one. I get one to you. I get one. Yeah. Well, you see me again tonight, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, but you haven't just got Amsterdam out. We've only talked about Amsterdam. Yeah, we got like we dropped a couple of tunes. Now we got a tune called Hello Stranger. Got a tune called Down and Out. We got a tune called Last Orders. They're all yeah here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, you but go and listen to them too. Well, I listen to them quite a lot because I enjoy your music. Thanks, man. I really do. But they sort of range from each other. Yeah, we are like we have a lot of different influences, man. Like we we take from all sorts you know and like we definitely sort of evolved over each song we've like yeah because we kind of came into it having sort of no idea yeah you know like i had an idea like when i was putting the band together of like what i wanted it to sound like and all that yeah but it just changes you know what i mean it just evolves and like you adapt it and obviously it weren't just me anymore so it was like got these three other dudes with like (laughs) cool ideas and like like it was like that's a bit yeah it was a bit hard for me adapting to that because i was like so used to just like this is me song right me song blah 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 yeah all that so it was it was it was sick you know, it was boss like learning how to do that and learning how to like be in a band yeah properly and stuff like that but uh yeah no i think we just every tune we put out we've kind of we've done it and then learn from it and go, oh, okay, so, like, next time we'll, we'll, we'll do that or we'll yeah. change that or, like, things like that and, like, the things we like, we'll try and keep, try and, like, scoop along yeah, with us yeah. and that. But, uh, yeah, no, I think, like, with the next sort of period, if you will, yeah, like, the next sort of, like, piece of time, we've kind of, like, sort of found our sound, if you will. We sort of, like, all the songs seem to be, like, merging into this kind of sound effectively and it's just like oh okay so this is like <laughs> what the band is this is like what it's about and that kind of thing yeah. so yeah it's good one like that's like the, these tunes we kind of look at it as like chapter zero yeah you know what I mean? it's like the uh, it's like the prequel yeah and we kind of like figure and figuring our shit out yeah if, that's, if that makes sense well you saw the way i listen to your songs it's sort of the way i feel that you write it's sort of influenced not by genre, but by lyrical content. I always yeah. seem to find a story. So I'm yeah, very, oh, it, look, it's it's I very look, a lot yeah. like country music where there's always a story. Yeah, but I, I grew it's up. It's not on, country genre. I but grew up on loads of country. Ones, yeah, so like I love like a guy called Kenny Chesney. Like yeah, it's just a cheesy country singer one. But I, I, I just it, I don't know what it is. But I just yeah. like it. One. Um, but yeah, no, I just love like even like Willie Nelson and things like that. Like I love the stories and songs man like it's just to me that's what songs are it's meant to make yep. you go huh i never thought about it like that or like god damn that's boss or like you know just things that are meant to make you feel something or like i like songs that make me question things and go like huh that's cool like, you know what I mean? or like just tell a cool story like it's just the way and i always like write about things that kind of happened so i like to kind of give it uh, 
a narrative, if you will. Nice. That makes sense. Well, I'm going to play a little game now. Okay. I like games. I'm going to give you some random song lyrics. I want the song and the next lyric. I'm going to (laughs) die. I want the song and the next lyric. I'm not going to give you no clues. I won't even give you the artist. Here we go. 100%. At New High School. You should know. You should know all of these. I hope so. The, the Are very people gonna judge me if I don't? Probably because I've seen you play what one, two, three, four of these five songs. Okay, okay. I oh, think I'm gonna die. So you sh- you, <laughs> you should get at least four of them. Okay, but they're just random. I've literally just scrolled down and stopped. Sweet. Okay. So everyone that you get wrong, I get a point. Oh, okay. Uh, everyone I get right, I get a point. Yeah. Okay. But there's two points in each one. Oh, 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 oh. The song and the next line. Ah, oh, right. Okay. God damn. Right. Are we ready? I like it. Are we Let's ready? Do it. The first song is "Grant My Last Request and Just Let Me Hold You." Don't shrug your shoulder. Lay down beside me. Song. Last request by. Uh, uh, I told you I was going to die. Is it by Paolo? Yeah. It is. Oh. It is. Oh, so I, didn't even want the, I didn't even want the artist and you could give it me. Right. Is that two points then? Yeah, that's Woo! two points. That's Sick. two points. Right. right. One of my favourite songs that I always ask you to play. Uh, Wreath Yourself and Rake Yourself. Take over the courage you have left. Yeah. Little line man. Oh, I don't. I want to find out the songs. Man. Mumford and Sons. I, 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 I want to find more songs, Isn't man. It? I just want to do it. I should have worshipped the sooner. Now I've got yeah. Hey, you have like. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You do. I do. I? Yeah. Oh, am I gonna like kick myself? Yeah. Oh no, it's like it's. I should have worshipped the sooner. Yeah. Who is she? If it can, do you want me to give you the next line? Yeah. If the heavens ever did speak. See, you know it now. You know it now. It's at the top of your brain. It's on the I tip. I found a friend. <laughs> 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 oh, lads, I don't know. Didn't know you had any. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> He's a good one. <laughs> uh, Not no. imaginary friends, though. Oh well, I got none. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a blank. I, I, I don't know. Take me to chair. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't have got that. I've heard that song a million times. Come, damn it. Blue eyes behind the cigarette. Delete the pictures. That I'll never forget. That's me, though. That. <laughs> that's that's the that's the the uh, Rivia. Right, uh, there's one more left, but uh, I think you've beat me anyway. It cleans a lot of places in Memphis. Pumped a lot of pain down in New Orleans. It's right. Yeah, it's right. But I never saw the good. You absolutely of demolished me. I love that song, man. There was, there was just that was what? The, oh, I'm not even gonna remember that night. I did like, I did like. I missed one, and I'll never forgive myself for missing that one. No, but Take you, got, you, church, you, got, you got the other four, which means you beat me 8-2. I'll take it. I like the number eight. That's a good number. <laughs> it's, just, it's, eight just what it, it's, it, it's just what I've got to Am I top of the leaderboard then? You are, because the last the last band I did out of six got one and a half points. So oh, they, they could have had know. six points because there was two of them. Ah, uh, okay. But you, even if it scored it the same... You just still beat them. Nice. So, it, it it's just, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Victory. Um, it, yeah. Victory. The, 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 it's only, you've only got to beat one of the band now. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Like, when there's like 25 people, and if I'm still top of the leaderboard, then I'll be made up. Well, if I'm not, I'll have to just come in and you'll have to ask me loads of crazy song questions. Well, t- well I'll tell you what. When when you release your next song, yeah. I'll get you back on. Sounds and like if you can beat it, I'll give you a trophy. A trophy? Like a, like a big, I, big I'll, band I'll get, trophy? I'll get a proper trophy 
and it won't even say Rivia, it'll just say Matt Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it should say Rivia, like, I don't think the lads would be very happy about I'll, that. I'll, I'll tell you what then, I'll put Rivia at the top, yeah. and then Matt Sloan underneath, just just because you're the only one here, and the rest of your band, like, I know one's Chris's birthday, but the other two, happy like... Birthday, Chris. Yeah, happy birthday, Chris. That's yeah, true that, like, fair play, fair yeah. play, and then I can, like, the, we'll have a Rivia... Game. Oh, you know what? You know what? We'll set it up. We'll have a review yeah, game. Like the World Cup. We, even even if the only way we can get all four years in a, <laughs> in a room is a Zoom call, we we will have a review game. Uh, and so. We'll do it that way, and whoever it is, I'll get them a show. Uh, the review, the review, big band trophy. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, new game show. Yeah, new game show. Right, so. You're going to perform for us today? Yeah, man. I'm going to sing you a song. What song are you singing? I'm going to sing you a song called Expose. Is it dedicated to me? Sure. Will I cry? Probably not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How, be, how, how far does your emotional capacity <laughs> stretch? You? What's the song about? It's about, like... Hmm, what's Expose about? It's about, like... Clearly like, not. Having the truth... If that makes sense, uh, it doesn't like, but so you like know when you when you want to just know something, yeah, and you want to just be like, ah, oh, let's just let's just get on what? with it, let's just go, like, like I'm I'm moving through stuff, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm getting on with like life, I'm doing all that, and then there's all these things, and you're just like, ah, oh, that's just a nightmare. And it's just like let it go, but like trying to be. Just like keeping on the, the the straight and narrow, and like keeping it straight up, <laughs> like that kind of thing. It's like the 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 hook is like send me on my way if you're my expose. It's like if this is if this is the truth, like if this is what it is, then let's go, kind of thing. Yeah. That kind of vibe. Sounds sick. Can't badly, wait to hear it. badly explained. Well, yeah. Do you know what? It's not. It's not. It's not. And I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> nice. Right, should we get going? Let's do it. A little too big for the boots again Got a little too tall for the room But it's all they know Just let it go, forget about it I finally feel a page I'm still missing our love Send me on my way if you're my expose Got a little distracted on my end Was too busy raising the roof Starting week and far from your deeds I forget about it I finally feel that pace I'm still missing our love Send me on my way If you're my expose Take a hold of that rope Can we lose it in the world? Send me on my way If you're my expose Too big for the boots again. Got a little too tall for the room. Got a little distracted on my hand. I was too busy raising the roof, but it's something no. Yet it's all we know Forget about it 
I finally feel a place I'm still missing our love Send me on my way If you're my expose Take a hold of that robe And be lucid in a world Send me on my way If you're my expose <laughs> right, Matt, that was sick, lad. That was absolutely sick. Thanks, man. It was a great song. I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> that, thanks, oh. dude. Well, where can we find you, lad? Um, you can find us um, on all the social medias um, at rivia.band. You can email us at rivia.music at gmail.com. Um, yeah, or just come and see a show, innit? If you want to come find us, come and see a show and like come and sing and dance with us and have a boss time and not. Yeah, maybe you'll get a t shirt. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You'll, you'll have to come not, down and find not, out. You're not going to end the, the end of the t shirt. You just I, I know, know, I know. Until I get it. I get you too. Yeah, you better. <laughs> you better. Not. You better not. Anyway. Cheers for coming on, lad. No worries. My yeah. pleasure. Thank you for having me. Make sure you follow Big Condo Music on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. It's taylorj.music. And we will see you all soon. <laughs>